Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. It was one of the marquee matchups in girls' sectional finals action on Saturday night. 2A number 2 Whitco and 9th ranked Central Noble. A sold out crowd in Albion got their money's worth as they watched the Cougars down the Wildcats 47 to 40 in double overtime. It's the first ever sectional title for the Cougs and we are proud to honor the Central Noble girls basketball team as your optimum performance sports team of the week. I'm Dr. Ian Nelson of Fort Wayne Orthopedics and Optimum Performance Sports, where we encourage our patients and athletes to rethink their limits. Congratulations to this week's Team of the Week. It was one of the sectional games of the night on Saturday. Central Noble taking down rival Wicko 47-40 in double overtime. Coach Trish is the head coach at Central Noble. You guys were down once by 19 points. How were you able to rally back and win this one? Well, unfortunately, this has been something that we've grown accustomed to. We've been down a couple times this year, and these girls have always been very resilient, and they've, they've found ways to come back. You took some key shots in those double overtime periods. Cindy Freeman absolutely lights out. She's just a sophomore. How do you think she's going to be able to grow with this Central Noble program? Well, when you get to, you know, postseason, you definitely got to be able to play good defense and you got to hit timely shots and that's something that the Sid has been able to do for us on a consistent basis all season. One of the overtime heroes, double overtime heroes for Central Noble was Sydney Freeman. Sydney, you had five three-pointers in the sectional championship game. How were you feeling pregame? Did you know your shot was on on Saturday night? I thought it was going to be off because I was missing everything in the pregame, but then the game came and I was making them. So. Well, how are you feeling about your shot right now? It's good. Okay. Well, we are really going to put that to the test because we have Sydney's older sister, Courtney, right here. They're going to have a little bit of the race. Lined up at the free throw line, we've got their sneakers. They have to put on their sneakers, go up, put on one of their Team of the Week shirts. The first one to hit a three-point basket will be our champion. Sydney and Courtney, are you ready? Yeah. Everybody else, are you ready? Yeah. I love it. On your mark, get set, go. This is going to be difficult. Oh, she threw away the shoes. They're fighting just like sisters do. One shoe is on. She's got to go down and get the other one. That will make it a little bit more difficult. The older sister trying to sabotage little sister Sydney. They're both putting on their shirts. Sydney is rocking. She's already taking a three-point shot, and she makes it despite the sabotages of your older sister. You are able to get it done. Is it fun competing against your sister like this? Yes. Now you guys are getting ready to play South Adams in your first game of the regional round. What will it be this week that gets you guys ready to take on the Starfires? Um, we just have to work on defense and just play as a team in the game. Well, thank you very much, Cindy. Congratulations to the Central Noble Girls Basketball Team, your Team of the Week. And that'll do it for sports. We'll be back in two minutes.